Mr. Ben, the last time I checked here, uh, you were not here. Not even in the motor department. What are you doing in uh, Mr. Oso's office? What is your interest, sir? This office and the mortuary department belong to the hospital. I have the right to come check for something anytime, any day. Uh, oh, my brother, I'm just pulling your legs. I'm here to uh, look for Oso Second. Omega. Where is he? He no longer works with us. He quits after Mr. Ozo's death. Mm -hmm. ah. Do you have any idea why he quits so suddenly? Ah, my brother, how am I supposed to know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, let me allow you to do what you're doing. Uh, uh, go ahead and do what you're doing. Hey. Well, some other time. Well. Was he actually here to look for Menka? This man must be up to something. Yes. He must be up to something. Mama, did you hear anything about Mama Edozi? Mama Edozi, what? My daughter, I did not. So. In fact, why would I bother myself about that woman? Eh? She is reaping the fruit of her labor. You know I keep on saying it, that that family is cursed. And I will not stop saying it. Grace family is cursed. Hi. Now, oh, wow. Chai. I swear. Obiara, where are you going? Eh, uh, I want to go and see your friend. A friend with that name? Uh, greetings to this house. Hey, well, welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, dear. I hope all is well. All is well. All is well. There's no problem. So, to so what do I owe this visit? <laughs> you really know it's you. Um, take for you and the entire family. You are advised to abide by the content of this letter, or you should face the consequence. Thank you. What? What is it, Obiara? This is nonsense. Obiara, what is it? Nonsense. This is Ara nonsense. And there is nothing that will make me and any members of my family to abide by the nonsense in this, in this letter. Never! Bring it, let me see. They have not even started. Obiara, what is wrong with you? Mama, these people are tempting me. These people are really tempting me. That's so bad, though. So bad, though. Mama, what is it? Mama, what is it? What? Oh, no, no, no. This is not possible. What? There's no problem. Does it mean that we have been ostracized too? Yeah, man. No, this is not right. This is not right. They are right. They are absolutely right. Were you not there when I was warning Obiora to stay away from that family and he wouldn't listen? This is the consequence. Mama, I said, aren't nonsense. No, they will hear from me. Give me the letter. Open the gate for me. 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 Open the gate Suspect, they watch him They're ready to fight you because of Papa's cops.
Okay. Thank you so much. Hmm? Words cannot express my gratitude to all the things you've been doing for me in this family, including the hospital bill. Thank it's, you so much. It's nothing. What are friends? <laughs> I mean, I want to show you something. Okay. Take a look at this. Why? Why would they have to do this? I don't know. No, this cannot happen. It was this cannot to... happen. We have to go to the house straight. No, you don't have to worry yourself. It's my fight. I don't want to get you involved. Okay? I woke up this morning on my way coming to your house. I got this. But don't worry. It's my fight. I can handle it. Okay? Can do it. Let us see. We'll see later, okay? We'll keep in touch. It's okay. Thank you so much. All right. Don't think about it, okay? Mr. Maikon, Emeka Chinyelugu, are you aware you still stand a chance of not being charged to court? And this might be your last opportunity. So you have to say the truth, and the truth will set you free. Honestly, officer, I don't know what you want me to say again. I have told you this before. I am innocent. <laughs> now, where were you on the night? Mr. Ozo was murdered. I was in my room. Shut up, you pathetic liar. Your elder brother's statement, someone who you're supposed to be with under the same roof, said you were out on that night. And I am quite confident that his statement is true. That was a lie. Honestly speaking, he lied. It was my brother saw me coming back to the house. But that was after I heard voices. And I went straight to the gate to see who that was. But I did not see anybody. <laughs> and you expect me to believe this story you just talked up? Just to cover your, your, I, your atrocities? I can't lie to you, officer. I can't lie to you. And I put it to you that you killed Mr. Ozo. <sighs> because you felt he has a complete evidence against you concerning the disappearance of your father's corpse. Oh God, oh God, I am not a killer. I cannot kill. Also, I cannot kill anybody. Eh? I'm only fighting for my father's cause. My father's cause is nowhere to be found. Hence, you are being adamant and you don't want to speak up. By tomorrow, you will be charged to court. Yes, and you will be tried. And if found guilty, you shall be sentenced to death for your wickedness. Think about it. What's the mean of this? What's the mean of this, Demi? What's the mean of this? What's the mean of this? What do you hit me? Omenuko, you are asking me what is the mean of this? Omenuko, I should be asking you what is the mean of this? Huh? What is the meaning of this nonsense that you said to me? Open the car. Eh, wo. Obiora. Obiora. You throw this thing at me. You want me to eat you alive? I to eat you alive, Obiora. Chairman, Ibo Nyala. Chairman, I say you're a very stupid man. So eat in a munga bobiola, banoli. Eh? Eat in a munga bobiola, banoli. You dare me. Chairman, you dare me. The next time you will send this kind of letter in my house again, eh? I will kill you. 
chairman, I will kill you. No, I don't keep peers, you keep peers. You can't go on. No. Chairman, take time. In that way, chairman, you won. You are even lucky that I didn't run you over with my car. But try me again. I said, try me again. You are challenging me. Who are you? You are challenging me. Chairman, who you are, are you? You are challenging me. Chairman, I will challenge you, you over and over again. Do you know who I am? Who are you? Chairman, I'm asking you, who are you? Ask you what a pachaka. How much money do you have? Try me again. I will chase you. I will run you over. You're ready to fight you because of Papa's cops. Obiara. Obiara. You dead me. You dead me. Don't worry. You will test my route. I will deal with you. Oh God. Thank you, Lord. Eh? I can't wait to give Obiara this good news. All thanks to the CCTV camera. So, if not for the CCTV camera, this man, this guy would have gone away with this thing. Eh? I don't even understand this. Why is he even doing all of this? You mommy can be so wicked. Eh? You mommy can be heartless. My God. Thank you. Well, let me meet you to make her first. Let me meet you to make her. Thank you, my God. I know you will never fail me. I know the corporate will never get away with this. I know. Thank you. What's wrong? Eh? He stopped picking my calls. But he told me he was almost here. Now he's not picking his call again. What could be the issue now? What could be the problem? Mr. Ben has not picked my call up till this moment. I am sure something is wrong. But what could that be? I will check him up in his office first thing tomorrow morning. What is yours? If you do good in the 
Is everything okay? You have been here since. What is the problem? What's bothering you? Everything is fine. No, brother. Everything is not fine. Everything is not fine. It's 4 p.m. and you are still sitting here. I called you earlier to come and eat your food. You said you're coming. And you are still here. Eh? What is bothering you? Something must be disturbing you. I said I'm fine. Just, just let me be. Oh, my child, brother, you know you can talk to me. If anything is bothering you, why not share it with me, Chizoba, your only sister? Eh? Share it with me now. I don't believe that everything is alright with you. Leave me alone now. Leave me alone. If I say everything is okay, everything is fine. Please leave me alone. Huh? Eh? Come inside and eat. Your food is getting cold. Your food is getting cold. Come and eat. Now, if this food is cold, you warm it. This is not right. Eh? This is not right. I'm sure something bad must have happened to Mr. Ben. Eh? I'm sure something terrible must have happened to him. I thought I caught him. Eh? I thought I called her. Who knows what she's doing inside here? Chima! Mama? Why have you refused to convince your husband to go to the police station and rewrite the statement he made against his own brother Emeka? He's the reason why Emeka is still at the police cell. Mama? On a togoto? And who told you that I haven't been doing my best to convince him about that? Chinwe, why are you fond of replying my mother's question with question? Eh? Why are you fond of doing that? The last time I checked, I was not talking to you. Mm. And the last time I checked, you should learn how to reply my mother and answer her very well. And not answering her with question with question. In a jia jigi ni abobo, gini abobo aga di akwenka. Question. You've not answered my question. Mama. Yes. Chill, good. Chill. Let, let, let me ask something. Hmm. Are you here? And this this riffraff is insulting my wife, and you cannot caution her. Hey, hey, hey. How did she insult her? Joy, hmm? Mama, you're asking me. I should be asking you that question. How did she insult her? I want to know. I asked a simple question. Are you happy that Emeka is still at the police cell? Wicked brother. You don't want to go and rewrite the statement you made against your brother. And she cannot convince you to do so. When do kalo when unu we malo na na try. I'm asking. If you ever open your mouth again to insult my wife, him get me. Oh, what do you get me? See, it doesn't. Oh, what do you get me? We are your queen of England. We are your queen of England. You are bad. You have beat me for. You are bad again. Am I wrong? Bam. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, why are you holding it? Why are you holding it? What you wanted? Is this not, not what you planned? That was your plan. Kiss here, your sister, when you're not. I should go and find my own husband's car. Mom, Chua. I don't, 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 I how are you? Yes, does it? Father, well, you're welcome. Uh -huh. I hope you all is well. Yes, all is well. No, you don't have to go. <laughs> Omenoko, I spoke to the commissioner of police. He told me that up to this moment, the young man had not admitted that he killed us. Uh, 
You are giving this young man enough chance. Eh? I suggest you pray the grace to charge his mother to God. Because even the statement from his brother is enough to nail him. Well, I think you are right. But I just want to give him one more chance. So that if he refuses to cooperate, my next action is to charge him to court. Yes. It's good though, but I don't know because uh, you are being too lenient about this matter. Eh? I don't want you to create an impression before I as if you are not serious about this matter. No, 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 no. That is not the case here. I am as eager as any other person to pursue this young man. But I want to just give him one more chance. So that when the law starts dealing with him, he will know that in the course of his own predicament. Okay, Igwe, um, as it pleases your majesty, I will convey your message to my people. Please, tell them to be patient. They will hear. I, I beg to take my leave. You can go. Igwe, thank you. You see, this family needs peace, understanding at this time. You know why? That is the weapon you use to defeat the enemy. And what is the aim of the enemy? To kill, steal, and destroy. Hi, Dozier. You see, no matter what happens, no matter what happens in this family, do not joke with the peace with the relative peace enjoyed. Very, very important. Father, thank you so much. But the problem is this. Just listen, Father. My mother is the cause of everything. Yes. You can imagine I was being accused of having a hand in my own father's cause, disappearance. But my mother never believed me for one day. She never believed me and she doesn't want to believe me. So, we're, we're at peace as of then. Look at what you are saying. Yes, I will say it. You're now soliciting for peace because it's no longer about uh, uh, a dossier and the wife. Darling, please, just listen to Father Law. Pretend Shut up. You wouldn't just keep quiet now. Listen, everybody. You see, your father has come to me several times in Revelation, asking me to restore peace to his family. Of course, I've not been able to come because I've been soliciting spiritually for this family. But now, peace must return to this family and we must all embrace it. Amen. Mm. Can I hear another amen? Amen. 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 Let us pray. Heavenly Father, true and everlasting God, we worship your name. Your peace surpasses all. Father, we pray you restore peace to this family, the type that have never been sent before to the glory of your name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Peace shall continue to reign in this family. Amen. As a servant of God, I decree that this family shall never know trouble again. There shall be understanding amongst them, and the enemy shall be put to shame at the end of the day. Amen. Do this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. Uh, you're welcome.
Dr. Ben has not reported to work up till now. Even his colleagues in the office does not know his whereabouts. So where could he be since the last time we spoke concerning the appointment? This is strange. This is strange. Something is wrong with my father. Something is wrong with my father. I mean, the way he ran last night. It's obvious something is wrong. I made food for him, he refused to eat. I worked him. I worked him. No, he's not normal now. Mm -mm. It's not. Kalista. Yes, sir. Um. I want to go and see someone now. Okay. Yeah, I'll be back in the GV. Okay. If someone comes to look for me, tell the person to wait. Okay. Yeah. And um, Papa, please, uh, um, I need to ask you something. Why did you run last night? Uh, why I ran last night? Okay, you mean I should stop going to where I'm going? And, no. and, and, and explain to you why? No, no, you don't understand. As in, what I'm trying to say is, in case anything happens to you, it should be with me, they'll still ask. That's why I'm asking to know why you ran. As my guardian angel. So you've not become my guardian angel now. You're guiding me anyway. I'm going to want to monitor anything I'm doing. Papa, I never read that level. I just did ask. <laughs> it's not like something. This house. Come out. Ah. Good day, madam. Good day. Did you miss Road? Not really. We are here for one Mr. Obiara. I guess he's your son. Yes. Obiara is my son. Good. We need to see him now. He's not around. Obiora is not around. So where is he at the moment? Obiora is not around. Obiora, welcome. Young man, I believe you are Mr. Obiora. What is going on? I believe you are Mr. Obiara. Yes. And how may I help you? Well, you are under arrest. Yes, for the murder of one Mr. Ben of Softels Hospital. Eh? Mr. Ben? Now, young man, listen. It is in your own interest to remain silent. For whatever you say here or do will be used against you in the court of law. Officer, wait. Officer, wait. I guess there is a mistake somewhere. Because the Mr. Ben in question is my very good friend. And he has been missing for past two days. Obiara. Did you kill anyone? Mommy, mama, so good, mommy. I'm not a killer. This must be a mistake of identity. Listen, I don't have time for all this. So when you get to the station, you will explain yourself better. Officer, move him. Oh, officer, officer, wait. Officer, wait. Officer, wait. Officer, wait. Officer, officer, wait. Officer, 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 move him. Hey, step back. Step back. Step back. Maybe there's a mistake. Move him. 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 Move Mr. Michael, you still have one more chance to save your life because every arrangement to take you to court in two days' time has been made. So speak up. I'm talking to you, God damn it. I don't know what else you want me to say. Officer, honestly, I don't know what else you want me to say. I am not a killer. I am not afraid to appear before the court. Take me to court. Clear, conscious, fears no accusation. Oh, really? 
you actually think you can come out alive from this, right? <laughs> Take me to God. Take me to God. My God will vindicate me. I am not a killer. I cannot kill anybody. I cannot. I'm only Sh Shut up! Now I can see you are really, really adamant and stubborn. But I promise you, I will make sure you rot in jail. Take my word for this. Take me to God! Take me to God! What is this? has gone now. Huh? I have not heard from my friend, officer. I have called him severally and he don't pick my calls. I hope he's well with him all. My dear, there is nothing like peace. Ever since Father Lo came to the house to make peace, we've been living in harmony. My husband has even gone to the police station to apologize to Emeka. How is that possible? Don't you think he might be giving false information? Well, our lawyer just said we shouldn't bother about it. <clears throat> I'm happy for you, but... What about your father-in-law's corpse? For now, he's concentrating on Emeka. Are you telling me you people believe Emeka is innocent? Emeka did not do it. Then who did it? Who did it? The only person that knows about this thing now was killed. The mortuary attendant was killed. I, I know you want peace in your family. I know you want, you want, you want peace and everything, but... Ah, Papa! So that he can own up to his crimes. But he's taking my silence for foolishness. I want you to take him to court. Yeah. Let him go there and answer for his crime. You may, you may, you may. I'll be back. You may please help me. You may don't want to die. You may don't want to die. Yeah, die. Yeah. Who are you? My name is Sugo. Yes, you may. I'm not from this town. But I work for. I work for. You work for who? I work for Ichiro Menuka Ibe. He contacted me to kill Mr. Maso. Ibe. What? Are you out of your mind? Ibe, I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth, Ibe. He offered to give me 50,000 naira. And that period, I have nothing to do. I needed the money. And he gave me his gun. Yes, it was his, his gun I used, Ibe. He gave me his gun. And after the incident, I thought it was over. Only for him to call me again that I should do a job for him again. When I refused, he threatened to call the police on me, Ibe. And he offered another 70,000 naira. So out of the threat and fear, I had to kill him. Who did you kill? You killed who? Mr. Ben, Ibe. Mr. Ben of Subtail Hospital. And now he wants me to kill another person. Whereas those that I have killed are haunting me and giving me sleepless nights, Ibe. By the way, 
Why did he for attack you to kill Mr. Ozo? I don't know. I don't know. I have asked him several but he has refused to let me know. You may help me. Help me. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Help me. Papa, where are you going to with a bag? Huh? I am traveling. I have an emergency. When? Hmm. You didn't tell me you were traveling before now. I told you I am traveling. I've said it. Huh? Okay, where are you going to? You can't ask me where I'm going to. I said I have an emergency. Papa, you, at least I need to know where you're going to. I will be back. Um, maybe in one more time. Um, and my phone will be off. In case you come, you will not get me online. Um, look at her. Uh, on top of that table, mm. uh, I kept uh, 100,000 for you there for your upkeep. So manage it. Let, let me go. My enemy is after me. Okay, Papa, at, at least let me know where you're going to. So if, if I can, at least I can still call you now. I said I have an emergency. Papa, at least tell me where you are going to now. I, I've told you. I, I, I'm traveling. What is happening to my father? This man did not even sleep last night. Something is going on. Deceived my innocent daughter. Eh? I lied to her. I told her I was heading to Port Harcourt to a place where no one can trust me. Hi. Just to hide my shame. Uh, Leave my way. I don't catch you. Omenoko, and I'm going to alert the youths immediately. Youths! If you talk, if you, if you, I will shoot you. I will kill you. Omenoko, Omenoko, you with a gun. I kill you the same way I killed your father and hit his corpse. What? Yes. Omenoko, you! So after killing my father, 
You took away his cops. Where got you? So you're behind all this? Oh my God. Yes, I did. To avenge what your father's parents did to my parents. This man is evil. Omeluko! Drop that gun. Drop that gun, Omeluko. If you talk again, I will shoot you. Omeluko! Drop that gun. Ha! Chief Tinelogo! Mr. Ozo! Ha! Ha! Any problem. Ah. Your husband arrested my father and handed him over to the youth. I don't know why. For doing what exactly? They came to my house today and they asked about my father. I told them that my father went out. And the next thing I heard was that your husband blocked my father and handed him over to the youth. I don't know why. For doing what exactly? I don't know. Well, I cannot believe your claims because my husband cannot do such things. Did you just say claims? What is claims now? What are you expecting me to say is a joke? I'm not joking right now. I am so, so serious right now because if anything happens to my father, I will hold your husband responsible. Ah, Auntie Chinwe, <laughs> you're here. Yes, she's here. Chinwe, mom, she is here. Any problem? Chinwe. Right away. The doctor has been calling you. He said you were not picking your calls. So he just called me. The man who is behind my husband's corpse disappearance has been apprehended. Yes. Hmm? They are taking him to the palace with the youth. <laughs> yes, hey, sir. Did they, call, did they say his name? No, they did not say the person's name. Oh. See, eh, my wife, they did not say the person's name. But today, eh, we will know the person. Because it's the same person that killed eh, Mr. Ben and eh, Mr. Ozo. Hey, they will beat him very well. They did not say his name. They did not say his name. Oh. <laughs> Let me arrange your clothes very well. Hey, Makazi. Eh? <laughs> I was unconscious in the hospital for three days. Thanks to the young man who saw me lying down in my cold blood and took me to the hospital, I would have been a dead man. I don't understand this, Mr. Ben. Can you tell me why Chiyo Menoko will want you dead? We... The reason is not far-fetched. In some occasion, Chief Omenoko must have seen me with Obiora. And I promised Obiora that I will unravel the man behind the missing corpse with the help of our CCTV cameras. CCTV cameras? Do you have CCTV cameras in the mortuaries? No. But we have it in all our offices. Yeah, that's interesting. In the footage, Chief Omenoko was seen three weeks after Shin Eluge's body was deposited in our mortuary, Shifomenoko was seen offering a huge sum of money to Ozo. Thereafter, we see Ozo trying to learn a particular signature in a form before him. And it could be a forged signature. And the same signature Mr. Ozo gives to Shiedoze's wife. So let me ask you, what about the missing cops? Did you find anything about it? Igwe, the missing cops were never removed in our mortuary. It was hidden in an inner room in the mortuary building. What? I think Chief Omenoko is in a good position to answer this. It could be the main reason he killed Ozos to cover up the secret deal he had with him. 
This is unbelievable. Look, I think the youths are here. We will hear from them. Hmm. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. The youth are outside with Chief Omanoko. Bring them in or share them in immediately. Yes, Your Bring Majesty. In. Why? I don't know. That's why I'm calling there to find out what's happening there in the palace. Hey! Now that was hard. That means I'll go with you there. I'll go with you there today. Hey! Capture him! This is happening. This is happening. Hey! Capture him for, for what now? Bye bye, Chief Baba. Bye bye. Chief Amara, you are not supposed to be here. People might see you and also ostracize your family too. <laughs> That's one our history now. God has done it for you and your family. I don't understand who they're talking about. Look, Amara, please, I am not in the mood for jokes. My brother's case has been breaking my mother down all this while. I even heard that they are taking him to court tomorrow together with Emeka. <laughs> that is why I said God has done it for you and your family. The real killer of Mr. Ozo and Mr. Ben has been apprehended. As I speak to you, they are taking him to the palace. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, who is the who is the real who is the culprit? Uh, 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 Mr. Chairman. It's your man, Luko. The same uh, man that also ties us. Yes. Mama. Hey. Mama. Hey. 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 Yeah, Mama, Amara said that Ichi Omenuko was the one that committed the crime and he has been taken to the palace. The same man that ostracized us. She also said that he has been captured and taken to the palace. Oh, God. Is that a prank? Mama, prank. No, it's not prank. Oh. It's the truth. <laughs> Mama, are you sure? Are you sure of what you're saying? My son is innocent. Yes, Mama. My crush is innocent. So, Biora is innocent. I said this. Thank you, Jesus. Only when I am I am not going to be able to get out of the way. I am not going to be able to get out of the way. I am not going to be able to get out of the way. I am not going to be able to get out of the way. I am not going to be able to get out of the way. I am not going to be how can you do a thing like this? You cause so much pain and damages in this land. You end up framing the innocent ones. Why? What is your problem? Do not blame me, Igwe. I was trying to avenge my parents' death. Jirugo's father killed them. And because I was a little boy, I could not get justice. It's your man, Oko. You don't take the laws into your hand. Moreover, you have no evidence, so you are clear. Even if you do, why will you punish the innocent ones? Igwe, they are not innocent. They are his family. And nothing will preventing from going back in avenging my parents' death. You are a wicked man. I am disappointed in you. Just look at you. How can you open your mouth and say that I am not innocent? We are dead here when your father was killed. Even if it is true. 
Akuna. Igwe, even if you imprison me, I must avenge my parents' death. I must do it. Obenoko, you got it all wrong. My father told me that Tinelogo's father had no hand in your parents' death. You should say what you know. Say what you know. Omenoko. Omenoko, can you prove anything? Do you have any proof? You have nothing. You can't help punishing the innocent ones. Because you think somebody killed your father. Listen, and listen good. This is my judgment. I cannot tamper justice with mercy. You have to face the laws clearly. I have contacted the permission of police. These men will soon be here. And they will take you to the prison. That is where people like you belong. <laughs> You have no place in the society. And that is my judgment. Igwe. Igwe, thank you so much. I appreciate your judgment. Of Papa's call, 